Hello folks, while Samsung fans look forward to the One UI 6.1 update, Google has made Android 15 official by releasing the first test build for developers so they can get an early start in building their apps for the next version of the operating system. Android 15 brings improvements to privacy, security and performance, along with some other enhancements. Since this is the first developer preview, Google hasn't revealed everything new, so we will have to wait for future builds to get a complete picture of the next major Android update. Android 15 has an updated version of Privacy Sandbox, which is an initiative led by Google with the main goal of restricting what user data websites and apps can use for targeted digital advertising. Android 15 also brings new APIs to help developers optimize the performance of their apps and reduce power consumption, especially for apps that perform a lot of background operations. Google is giving third-party apps such as Snapchat or Instagram more control over a device's camera hardware, so those apps can use some of the same features that are available in a device's camera app. This should also help third-party apps capture better quality pictures, something Samsung has already tackled on Galaxy devices, with the Galaxy S24 series being the most recent example. Android 15 will also make it possible for the screen recorder feature to record contents of a specific app instead of the entire user interface. While Google hasn't officially revealed everything, Android Police reports that Android 15 could also bring functionality such as the option to create home screen shortcuts to a pair of apps so users can quickly start using those apps in multi-window mode. Not everything in Android 15 may work the same on Galaxy devices as it would on Pixel devices. For example, Samsung has its own implementation of a screen recorder, so Android 15 having partial screen recording may not necessarily mean it will be possible on Galaxy smartphones and tablets as well. Creating app pair shortcuts, meanwhile, is something Samsung has allowed for years due to its focus on the multitasking capabilities of its devices. By the way, here is a list of Galaxy devices that will receive Android 15 with One UI 7 on top. Google will release two developer previews of Android 15 in total and four beta versions before the new version is ready for public use. Samsung will take a few extra weeks or months to bring the new version of Android to its users, because it will have to adopt the core operating system to its One UI overlay. As always, the company will reward us for our patience with features and improvements not seen in the stock version of Android 15. As far as eligibility, is concerned, almost every smartphone or tablet Samsung launched with Android 13 will get Android 15. Some devices that launched with Android 12 or earlier and are eligible for three or four generations of Android upgrades will also get it. For the Galaxy S24, S24 Plus and S24 Ultra, Android 15 will be the first of seven major updates. The 2024 flagships will also be the first from Samsung to make the jump to Android 15. The list above is not final by any means and will not be final until at least August or September, if Samsung sticks to its usual schedule for major Android and One UI updates. Anyway guys, I will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, good luck to all!